Welcome everybody to a $24.5 million mountain contemporary mansion in Beaver Creek, Colorado. We've come a long way just for this tour. As you know, we're from Miami. So we flew out here just so you could see this estate right behind us. This is one of the most spectacular homes we have showed on this channel. It's just under 10,000 square feet of living space. You have six bedrooms, plenty of bathrooms, plenty of living space, so much to do. Without further ado, let's go inside and show you this one of a kind mansion overlooking some of the most beautiful views you will ever see. And we get to do it in the snow. So this is a snow special. Let's go. Before we go inside, we want to point out some important things here first. You have a really nice, massive driveway all the way from the top. We are in Bachelor Gulch over here, right? And all the houses in Bachelor Gulch, you know, you're driving past the Ritz Carlton and driving past all these beautiful lodge houses. And then you look for this address and you can't seem to find it because you don't see the house from the street. You go down this nice, beautiful winding road that leads you straight down here because you're on four and a half acres of your own property. And there's no neighbors around you to see anything. Four car garage there, some storage, and then you have this really nice entrance here, which leads us straight into the house. You know, this is a dream. So now we can go inside that we've explained those things to you. And also I want you to notice before too, you have this beautiful stonework around as well. And just a fun fact, there's copper gutters. And those copper gutters, there's a little wire that goes through it that heats the gutters as well. It's just fun things that I've learned throughout, but come on, let's go inside. Welcome everybody to this mountain contemporary mansion. Come on in, make yourselves at home. I'm excited to show you all of this 10,000 square feet of brand new construction home in Beaver Creek. Now, we come on in, you have your foyer entry here. You'll notice the design of the floor is actually a herringbone design and the floors throughout the entire ground floor are a white oak wood floor. Now, talking about the foyer entry, you have an area over here where you could leave your mail when you get home or your keys, it's a little area there to have your things. And then you go down over on this side and here you have a mud room, you have an electrical closet and you have your laundry room and that door all the way at the end is a four car garage plus storage. And get this, the garage actually has heated floors and AC, which is actually pretty insane. Uh, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Now you walk in and you're greeted with this living space here, formal living room. You have the vaulted ceilings with the exposed beams and the most beautiful light fixtures I've seen. It's an entrance that makes you go, wow. And you feel the heat from the fireplace. Right now, uh, it's not Miami weather. Uh, that's why we're all you know, dressed up because it's, uh, it's very cold. It's actually snowing. And it's one of the first or very few times that I've seen snow because I'm actually from Miami. Now here, you could actually, you know, get some s'mores going, you know, or you just heat up your hands, you know, on a cold day like today. There's a couple fireplaces throughout the house, uh, but this is one of them here in the living room. And it's, I have a touch of a button over here and it's a gas fireplace, right? So uh, over here, you have your living space. I'm gonna show you getting in the way here. I'm gonna show you everything on the main level here first, then we'll show you the lower level, and then we're gonna show you the club room, which is all by itself on the third floor. Now, before we go that way, because that's where the kitchen and the family room is, I wanna point out this massive balcony and terrace space here, right? You're overlooking all of Avon down this way, all right? The view is out of this world. Right now it's snowing, it's actually calmed down, which is nice, it's great for the video, but this balcony, all the patio spaces are heated. So the flooring, it's heated. So you go out and your, your, your feet aren't cold. Isn't that great? It's, it, it's, in, it's incredible. I actually learned about that today. It's in-floor radiant heating and it's all inside the house and in the patio spaces. And in Miami, we don't have that. So it is something that I learned today and, I, and you know, I'm not ashamed to not know about it because we don't need that in Miami, but we need it here, definitely. Now, we walk down this way. 
all right? And you notice the stonework throughout, which gives this just, I love the feel, the warmth that it brings, right? Over here, you have a bar area. This is off of your living room. So if you wanted to formally entertain somebody, maybe in a more intimate setting, you could go into that living space we were just at, and then you have your bar area here. You have tons of space, storage space. This is a drawer, a refrigerator drawer, so you could put some drinks, beers, waters, whatever you like. You have an ice maker here as well. And then you also have over here, dishwasher. So this bar here has a dishwasher and then you have a lower dishwasher there as well, right? And then over here is just a bunch of storage space. So you could put your china, your glasses, all of that. All right, then we walk down over here and you have your powder bathroom over here. I think it's worth pointing out. I just really like it. So you notice you have this really nice wood paneling throughout the entire bathroom. It's very like warm, it's cozier, kind of has like a log feel. Uh, and then you're overlooking that view of Beaver Creek, which we're about to see right now, which is actually insane. So you'll notice there's actually Lutron lighting throughout the entire home. And actually, before we go, I wanna back it up a little bit because I do wanna point out this hallway. If you notice the hallway floor lighting here and the baseboards, that are really high up and have that floating wall effect. So you notice that all around, encased around the, the, the doors as well, which is really nice. I mean, the attention to detail is out of this world. Now this is the best space of the house, in my opinion, right here. This is your family, family room and kitchen. And then you have your dining room. Now, there's a lot to unpack here, but first I wanna point this out. Family room right over here. You have your vaulted ceilings with the exposed beams above and beautiful light fixtures. But look at this picture perfect window, massive window overlooking the front of your home. Now the way the builder built this house, they strategically did it this way so that from this room, you're getting a view of all of Beaver Creek. You're overlooking Beaver Creek right here. But the view here is great, right? And you notice there's a car pulling up there, but you have a huge driveway and there's no neighbors around you at all. But the views are spectacular. You see them from everywhere. And now that's your family room. This is your kitchen over here. Kitchen, two islands right over here. One massive one to eat right here with the family. You could see eight people here, no problem. And then this island over here is more, you know, to prep the food, right? Now I wanna come down over here. I wanna show you, you have a 66 inch Viking gas burner here. It's out of this world. This range is incredible with the pot filler up above and you notice the stonework all around and look at this hood. The blue accents are everywhere. You have blue accents here and you notice the blue accents on this cabinetry as well, which is really, really nice. Quartz countertops around all these, uh, the, the island and everything. And then you have the waterfall here as well, which is nice. You have the Mila coffee maker here. And then of course you have an oven here and you have a microwave, Viking, but all this cabinetry is great. Now, you know, if you've watched these videos that I love a sink with a view. Right here, you have a cutting board and a sink with a view. Two in one, look at this view. You're looking all over Avon. Right now, the view actually cleared up. We got really lucky because maybe about 30 minutes, an hour ago, this was storming really, really hard. So this view, honestly, I, I might even want to wash my hands here for five minutes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing so. Don't mind if I do. But you know where I spend more than five minutes is out here. You have right over here, you have a barbecue patio, which is really, really nice. And this has heated flooring as well. So we can't go out there. I mean, it's snowing right now and then our feet and our socks get wet. And I don't know about you, but I don't like socks that are wet. Do you like wet socks? I don't think anybody likes to wet, wear wet socks, right? So we're not gonna do that, but you have your barbecue out there, which is really nice. Now here you're getting another glimpse of this big space, which is really nice. Uh, and then over here, you would have thought, oh, is this all refrigerator and pantry? No, no, no. Come on now, what do you think? What do you think? Look at this. So here, this is a hidden pantry, okay? You have a dishwasher in here, more area to prep. You have a refrigerator right here, secondary refrigerator, all right? This is just a space, a hidden space for you to prep food. Maybe if you didn't want people to see food was being prepared or things were being cleaned, you could have it done back here. Let's close that up and just act like we didn't even know about that. All right, now, uh, just so you have an idea, it's just a bunch of pantry space now here as well. It's just a lot of pantry space. Now, you have this stone right here. 
that's all around your entrance to your dining room. And the dining room, think about what we just saw in the kitchen, has blue. It's painted in blue. So that detail in blue is really bringing everything together, which is really nice. This dining room here, you're overlooking you know, greenery, mountains, it's really, really nice. You have a drop-down ceiling with recessed lighting and the speakers here as well. And actually the drop-down ceiling, that what's dropped down is a wood panel, which is really nice. And then you have these steel glass doors to your temperature controlled wine cellar. This is insane. This is actually temperature controlled just so you could have your finest wines there and not have to worry. And this door is extremely heavy, which means it's a good quality door. Now, we'll just go out this way. You also have access from the, from the uh, family room. Got it. You have pocket doors, glass sliding pocket doors. Now here, in, in Miami, you have impact windows and doors, but here you don't really need that. But these are glass sliding pocket doors here. And this patio, like we mentioned, is heated as well. And you also have gas connections up above. So if you wanted to put heaters on the ceilings, you could do that. And then you have the speakers as well. You have the tongue and groove with the wood paneling and you have your fireplace here as well. I mean, look at this. Look at the scenery all around us. This is insane. Get an angle over here. I want to show this over here. I mean, that's all of Beaver Creek right there. The entire, I, I'm at all. And to actually be here in person is a completely different feel than like when you're seeing in a video, but hopefully we're able to depict it as best as we possibly can. But really this is a great space where you hang out, sit by the fire. Man, these chairs are comfy too. It's so peaceful out here. I love it. I love it but we're not here to just watch me love it and relax. Come on in, we gotta show you the rest of the house. I'm gonna show you, we gotta finish it up over here. So now you're getting a view, oh, George has to close the door. We gotta, yeah, we, I'll close it for you, George. Don't worry, George, don't worry, man. I got you, I got you, man, I got you. That's what friends are for, right? That's what friends are for. I got you, man. Come down this way. Now, really nice, I just noticed this myself. Look at the view of the hallways when you're like walking down this hallway, look at all of that. You could do so many laps. You could do, whoo -hoo, hoo 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 Oh, if I would have like fell back, that would have been bad but funny. So hallway, you walk down all the way here. Now we're back into the living room, right? You have the balcony space, the front door entrance, right? Over here is the stairs that go down to the secondary bedrooms, but we're not gonna go there first. Oh, and George wanted me to point out, I was gonna mention it later, but we can mention it now. You have this really nice railing all along in the staircase. And this is just little, it's a leather in between. That leather detail is really nice. They did a really nice job. It looks kind of like a guitar when you kind of like, you know, hit at it, but it's nice, beautiful design. The attention to detail in this house is unlike we've really ever seen because you don't see houses like this in Miami, not with this kind of detail. Come on, come on in. This is your primary suite here. Nice and cozy, you have your fireplace here with a TV. This is more of the family room, right? So this is where you get home and you talk about your day and what's going on and you're watching TV or maybe you're reading a book. You look to your right, you have the scenic view and then you also have access to that big balcony by the living room right over here. So if you wanted to access that balcony, you could do so right here. And here you're gonna get a sense of how big it is. It's a really big balcony. Now. Of course, in your primary suite, you have to sleep. Duh, come this way. I love this, this double-sided fireplace, right? With the really nice wood paneling here that divides the space of, the, of the, the, the actual place where you sleep versus your den or seating area, right? Here you also have a TV as well, so you can watch TV. It's really warm in here because of this fireplace. And then you have the scenic views there as well. And you have surround sound speakers in this room too. Big size king, uh, big size, king size bed. Guess that makes sense. With your two nightstands. Then over here, this is the hallway. So the hallway connects from where we entered. You have the big walk-in closet here. It's a, basically a two-in-one closet here, really nicely built out. But wait, there's more. Come down this way. So there's two bathrooms. No need to share. You don't share when you live in a $24.5 million house. You have your own. Come over here, bathroom number one over here. This is the first bathroom here. You have your own vanity. You have the smart toilet that opens up and talks. 
It doesn't talk, I'm just joking. And then you have your shower here with the body jets, the handheld, and the upper jet as well there. And then you have your view, your scenic view of the mountains here too. Love the wallpaper, the colors here they chose. You notice every single bathroom we're going to see, every single one has a different finish to it, which is very unique. Double door entry to the second primary bathroom. Look at this, look, look at the, I love the cabinetry that they chose. You have a really nice countertop here with the vanity, your makeup station, all right? You have, of course, your water closet with the smart toilet. And then over here, you have your shower with the body jets and the handheld, different colors. This is more of a lighter scheme versus the other one's more of a darker scheme. And of course, your tub here, which looks like something from a magazine, from Restoration Hardware or some beautiful magazine, looking out, to that picture perfect view. Such a scenic view. I mean, the views from every single window are scenic. It's incredible. And we can't forget that the bathrooms do have speakers as well. It wouldn't be, if it didn't have like surround sound speakers in the bathrooms, like you might as well just not do it at all, right? Because then you can't sing in the shower. I know George sings in the shower. I mean, I sing in the shower. Who doesn't sing in the shower? So that's the ground level here, right? We've seen the entire ground level, right? Now we're gonna take you downstairs here, and then we're gonna show you the crazy club room on the third level. So let's go down first. See you there. So now we're downstairs. Down here we have five bedrooms plus a ski room. So come down here, this is like a little landing area. Over here you have your laundry room down this way. Nice laundry room, you have one here and in the ground level which we were talking about before. And you obviously have a sink and really nice detail there as well. There's two ensuite bedrooms down this way. Both bedrooms are really good sizes and they both have their own bathrooms with beautiful views of course. Now. Now you come down this way. I wanna show you this because this, this is very nice. That's just more, this is more like a mechanical room. Not to worry about that. This is just, you know, some storage. But this is your ski room. This is very important. So there's a ski room here. I'm gonna explain why it's located here in a second. But ski room here, this is where you could basically put your boards, put everything you need, all your equipment up on this wall, right? Hang those things up. Now, and then you basically have your own lockers, I guess you could say, right? What they were explaining to me is that down here below, your, your ski boots, right? You can heat them up. There's like, you know, there's machines that heat them up. So there's an outlet down here so that you could heat up your ski boots, right? And then here you could put your clothes or whatever. And then there's outlets up here so you can charge your phone, do whatever you need to here. But this is so strategically placed right in here. And I'll tell you why. So that's your ski room, right? This is more like your ski lounge. This is what they're calling the ski lounge. It's porcelain tile flooring downstairs because you're gonna be coming in and out with your ski when you're skiing through here. And if you have wood floors and you're walking on this all wet, muddy, whatever, you're gonna ruin the floors. So that's the thought process behind that. But you could do a nice little seating area here with a TV up on that wall. You know, you finish a long day of skiing, this is where you're gonna hang out. Or come down over here, I gotta show you this. You're gonna hang out out here. So this outdoor patio, again, it's a heated patio with speakers throughout as well. You could put a seating area here, seating area to hang out after a long day of skiing, have some drinks, relax, hang out, right? Jacuzzi over there. I don't wanna get my socks all muddy, but you have over there the jacuzzi. That's huge, right? Because Cold, it's really cold out, and there's nothing better than a jacuzzi on a really cold day after skiing. Now, come over here. I wanna show you something. Why is this so important? So, over here, this is a path, a ski in and out way, all right, over here. So if you're skiing, and you have your skiing equipment, you literally just take this path down there, and it connects to be able to go down and ski, or you can go higher in the mountain. So you ski in and out from here. So when you're coming home from skiing, Ski, come, jacuzzi, hang out, go to the ski room. Now you understand the purpose, right? Isn't that great? And what's even better about all this is you have no neighbors to see you do anything, which is great. Come on, let's come back in, show you the rest of the downstairs. So over here, we're back in the ski lounge, and we mentioned there's five bedrooms, right? So down over here, 
You have this hallway that leads you to the rest of the three bedrooms. There are three ensuite bedrooms. This is bedroom number one over here. This may be the smallest of the five down here, has its own bathroom. And then over down over here is like a junior primary suite. It's one of the larger bedrooms down here with a really big walk-in closet and a beautiful bathroom with a wet room. And the, the tile in this bathroom is actually really, really nice. And then down over here, this final bedroom is the bunk bedroom, right? So here they have a bunch of bunk beds. So you have queen size bunk beds. So this is where the kids and the grandkids and all of that get to hang out. They have their own closet and they have a bathroom as well. So that's five bedrooms completed down here. So we've seen basically all the bedrooms, all right? And most of the living spaces, but not my favorite one because my favorite space is the club room we're gonna see on the third level. I'll meet you up there. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, before we cut this actually, because you could go through the ski room, there's a secondary staircase that we might've actually seen. That secondary staircase takes you up to that second laundry room area in the garage, and then it takes you to the club room. So now we're gonna go to the club room. And this is the club room, my favorite room of the house for a couple reasons. First off, look how big this space is over here. You have a really nice bar area over here. I'm gonna show you this first. You have a leather quartz countertops here that have the waterfall at the end as well. And look at the beautiful gold fixtures here. But come here, come over here. Refrigerator drawers. This is the best bar ever. Refrigerator drawers there, two of them. Wine fridge over here. Storage, wait, I'm missing something. Storage, there's so many, oh, here we go. What is that noise, you remember from before? The dishwasher. You have dishwashers where it's convenient, so you don't have to go take these things downstairs. And then of course, you have everything you need here, display, also wanna know. One, two, three TVs. Why? Because this is where you're gonna watch the game. Now, if you're living here, maybe you're a Denver Broncos fan but I would recommend that you're a Dolphins fan because the Miami Dolphins are the best team in the league right now, just saying, all right? But we're not here to talk about the Dolphins, we're talking about this space. So bar area here, you have the view looking out, scenic down that way, but then you have the view over here and looking that way as well. This entire space, you're playing billiards, you're hanging out, you're drinking, you're eating. Look at this, bar stools here. There's so much to do in this space and it's such a big and open space that you may even find yourself here most of the time. Family, friends, you know, you name it, right? Now, you have a balcony here. This way over here, this is facing Veil. Vale. Veil vale is facing right down over there east, right? And then down these windows over here, we're looking down at Beaver Creek. And then, I mean, the Avon view we've seen from the other areas of the house, but everywhere you have a beautiful view. And of course you have your fireplace there, which I feel it burning from over here. It's nice and warm up here. And it's encased in a leather quartz as well, which is really, really nice. And then you have a big TV, seating area here. You're hanging out, you're watching the game. It's relaxing. I mean, just look how big this space is. This space is unreal. And as I sit, excuse me, I'm just talking a lot. So I had a little hiccup. As we sit here, we look out to the view of Beaver Creek and all of those mountains. It's unreal. This view, you're not gonna get it from anywhere else. I really don't think, I feel like this is such a unique property. Now, you see these big doors here, right? These are the same steel doors, just a little smaller, that we saw downstairs in the wine cellar. And this is the office. So, you can make this an office space. What I would do actually is with those glass doors, I would get the frosted glass uh, button where you could click the button and it's frosted, click it again and it's off if you wanted that privacy for an office. Desk right here because I'm looking right out that way and I'm looking at this incredible view. Beautiful wallpaper here, really, really, really nice. And then you notice as well the baseboards that we saw throughout as well. But this space is so, so nice. You have high ceilings here as well. 
This is my favorite space of the house, right? So it's only, it only makes sense to finish the video overlooking this view. And it's actually cleared up quite a bit because when we got here, it was snowing pretty hard, but now it's like little drizzle of snow, which is nice. It's beautiful. We have, this is all overlooking Beaver Creek here. And then Vail is down that way. On a clear day, you'd be able to see the mountains over there, which is really nice. But that's the end of the video here, right? I mean, the property itself is on four and a half acres of land. You're here in Bachelor Gulch, which comprises of 109 homes. And this is the only home on the market right now in BG. And it's the most spectacular property. There's nothing else like this. There hasn't been a new home like this built in the area for a long time. And this is such a special property. It's one of my favorite properties that we've toured and it's so unique. And we appreciate you watching this property tour. If you have any questions about this property or any interest, shoot me an email. And as well, if you'd like to see more tours like this one, where we go to different places and we tour some spectacular properties, make sure you go down and comment down below. We'll see you in next week for the next tour because we do these tours every single weekend. Peace and love. Go like, subscribe, and comment. See you. And a huge shout out to the listing agents, Ty Stockton and Patrick Barrett with the Stockton Group at Compass Vale. Thanks so much for letting us tour this one of a kind new construction home. We loved it and I'm sure the viewers did too. Until the next time, see you soon. Thanks for watching the tour. Since you're here, you might as well watch some other ones. Why don't you watch this one right here? Or, or maybe this one right here? <laughs> and while you're at it, why don't you just go subscribe as well? And if you're looking to buy a house in South Florida, just shoot me an email too. <laughs> we'll see you in the next tour.